11 and that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. 12 The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. 13 Let us walk honestly, as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. 14 But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh, to fulfill the lusts thereof. I was so excited to put on my new glasses for the first time, but after just a few hours I wanted to throw them away. My eyes ached and head throbbed from adjusting to the new prescription. My ears were sore from the unfamiliar frames. The next day I groaned when I remembered I had to wear them. I had to repeatedly choose to use my glasses each day in order for my body to adjust. It took several weeks, but after that, I hardly noticed I was wearing them. Putting on something new requires an adjustment, but over time we grow into it, and it suits us better. We may even see things we didn't see before. In Romans chapter 13, the Apostle Paul instructed Christ followers to put on the armor of light, verse 12, and practice right living. They had already believed in Jesus, but it seems they had fallen into slumber and become more complacent. They needed to wake up and take action, behave decently and let go of all sin, verse 11 to 13. Paul encouraged them to be clothed with Jesus and become more like him in their thoughts and deeds, verse 14. We don't begin to reflect the loving, gentle, kind, grace-filled, and faithful ways of Jesus overnight. It's a long process of choosing to put on the armor of light every day, even when we don't want to because it's uncomfortable. Over time, he changes us for the better. Reflect pray, what does it look like to put on Jesus today? How does practicing Christ-likeness become more comfortable over time? Dear Jesus, thank you that you're transforming me day by day.